back to my channel for those of you who are already part of the family for those of you who are new welcome my name is Kiara Selena I'm a licensed practical nurse and on my channel I mainly make nursing related videos or medical related videos but I also do a bit of beauty and hair Video, as mentioned in the title I just want to share five healthcare jobs that are pretty easy to um, finish that go by really really quickly and that pay pretty decent money so that you guys can get into the work field as soon as possible um, for those of you who are aspiring to become nurses but can't um, make the time sacrifice right now um, you guys can just get use these to pretty much kind of just get your foot in the door job I want to talk about is CNA or certified nursing assistant for those of you who don't know what CNAs do they they assist the nurses but also help the patients with their basic everyday needs called ADLs or activities of daily living that's what we call it in the um, in the nursing field and basically ADLs just consists of helping people with simple things such as feeding bathing clothing or dressing and undressing brief changes or toileting and things like that and in some rare cases CNAs will also take um, vital signs so blood pressure pulse respiration oxygen saturation and temperature um, on average, it takes a, a CNA about 6 to 12 weeks in school to completely finish their schooling and get into the workforce. But in Canada, it can take a CNA from any, anywhere from 6 to 9 months, up to 9 months. I'm not saying that's what it is everywhere, but in my province, it takes CNAs 9 months to finish schooling. In the States, it's usually between 6 and 12 weeks, and CNAs can make anywhere from $20,000 to $33,000 a year. Obviously, this can change depending on how much you want to work. And if you are doing overtime, doing doubles and stuff like that, you can make more. But on average, it's between twenty dollars to $33,000 a year for a CNA. To talk about is HHA which stands for home health aid which is a job that is very comparable to a CNA however they usually don't work in hospital environments they usually work in home health which is why they are home health aides um, home health aides usually work with either elderly or disabled patients and they pretty much are there to help people same way um, a CNA is there to help with activities activities of daily living is pretty much the same thing that a home health aide does however they also also do things like preparing meals um, and a bit of housekeeping now that doesn't mean you're gonna be cleaning your patient or your clients house from top to bottom but you will you know do a bit of cleaning a bit of laundry and and stuff like that CNAs don't usually do that because they're working in hospitals and there are people who hospitals or residences sorry and there are people there to do laundry but since you at you are at this patient's house you will be responsible for like I said simple things such as laundry um, cooking simple meals as well as activities of daily living which once again consists of dressing and undressing toileting showering and things like that it usually takes a an HHA I think between two to six weeks to complete training and they usually make about 21 to 25 thousand dollars a year I want to talk about is medical secretary and you guys have probably met a medical secretary if you have walked into a clinic or a hospital that is usually the person at risk reception and medical secretaries are um, responsible for answering phone calls um, scheduling patients and organizing uh, physician schedules they are the ones who are also responsible for um, filing and you know organizing the charts and stuff like that it usually takes a medical secretary anywhere from six months to a year to finish training and I think there's actually an associate's degree for them which can take you up to two years I just learned this recently from, from a friend of mine who's a medical secretary but on average like I said between six months to a year and medical secretaries can make anywhere from 27,000 up to $35,000 a year or more depending on how much time you spend in school talk about is phlebotomists for those of you who don't know what phlebotomists is they are people who specialize in venipuncture or blood draws and they draw bloods for things such as medical or clinical testing transfusions donations and things like that um, it usually takes phlebotomists about six to eight months to completely finish schooling however if you want to obtain um, extra certifications it can take you up to a year and on average phlebotomists make between I think it was thirty thousand to $36,000 a year if I'm wrong I will add the right amount somewhere up here Last job I want to talk about is really for those of you who really want to start feeling like a nurse you may not be able to go to nursing school right now because I don't know it's too expensive 
expensive or I don't know what your reason is, but if you really want to start feeling like a nurse and practicing some nursing skills, this job is perfect for you and that is medical assistant. Now, medical assistant is really like a, a fusion between a nurse and a medical secretary. Although they do do some tasks that nurse do, they can't really do as much as nurses, but there is some nursing in there and let me explain. So medical assistants can perform tasks or do perform tasks like uh, vital signs, um, they can remove sutures, do wound dressings, and they can even do blood draws and administer medication. So you do see that nursing aspect in their job. But the reason why I say that they're also medical secretaries in a way is because they are also the ones that are responsible for answering the phone, for scheduling the patients. They are the ones that will um, do the filing for insurance and the billing and stuff like that. So they're really, like I said, a fusion between a nurse and a medical secretary. Medical assistants don't usually work in hospital settings. In rare cases, you may see them in hospitals. However, they mainly usually work in clinics or doctor's offices, and they work under the supervision of a physician or a nurse. The training time for a medical assistant is usually between eight and nine months, but it can go up to a year depending on where you live. And the average salary for a medical assistant is around $35,000 a year. So that is it for the five healthcare jobs that are pretty easy to get. You guys can get these done pretty quickly and start making money. Yes, I know that the money isn't the best. However, when you think about it, it is a way to just get that nursing experience, get your foot in the door. And this is definitely experience that will help you in nursing school. So if you guys are thinking about becoming nurses but can't go right now, you might wanna consider one of these jobs just to get your foot in the door and start getting that experience, start making money, and and then whenever you do have the time or can make the sacrifice to go to nursing school, then um, you know you can go do that and you will have this experience that you can walk into nursing school with, which will be really great for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's anything else you guys wanna add, please leave them down in the comment section below. And as usual, like and share if you like this video and turn your notification bell on as well as subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. And I really hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye.